Hey guys, welcome back to Kelly's Creations. I am so glad you're here. Today's video is gonna be a little different because I am gonna be using items from a recent home makeover project or renovation project that I kept. So we got rid of one of our vanities and I kept this door off of it. I also kept two drawers and I also will be using an old home interiors mirror. Now, my <laughs> idea for this was to create a very unique and different photo wall in my living room. I don't just like putting pictures up on the wall. I like unique items mixed in with them. So I thought, let's try this. Let's grab this door from my old vanity, sand it down, take the hardware off, and give it a couple coats of white chalk paint. And then distress it, and we're gonna just have this first unique item with a picture frame in the middle to hold a photo. Now, at the end of this video, I will be showing you how the wall turned out. It's still a work in progress because I'm still trying to find unique and different items to add to it. But this is the base of it. This is the way I'm starting the wall, and you'll see gaps in spaces and stuff where I know I can add to it. What's great about this is everything I'm doing can be changed. So, you're gonna see me hot glue this handle on just because the holes didn't really line up. Um, and it's just a decorative piece anyway, so I'm not worried about using hot glue in that process. Now this picture frame, <clears throat> I don't know where I got it from. I think I got it from Marshalls. I might've got it from um, Dollar General, I'm not sure. But if you, you can always duplicate this if you like this look and just use a piece of wood and a clip or use a photo frame from Dollar Tree and a clip. This is easily, you know, recreated. But I'm using a lot of command strips in this project. So I'm gonna put a couple of command strips on the back of this photo frame and I'm gonna put it on the door. Now, command strips are wonderful because if you change your mind or change your look or wanna jazz it up and do something different, they're easily removed. So I can turn this door into anything and use it for different seasons. Like I said, command strips, it's not permanent, you get to change it. So this is what the door looks like. I think this is super cute, super different, out of the box. This is gonna be going on my wall. And <laughs> I know like you're thinking, okay, where's she going with this? Well, you gotta stick around to the end to see how this wall turned out because I love unique and different. I love items in my house that you can't find in everybody else's. And I love incorporating my, sometimes really thinking out of the box style into my home. And that's what I'm doing here. So for the next project, I am removing the face off the drawers. I could not remove that wood piece <laughs> that wasn't coming out. So this one kind of sticks out a little bit from the wall, but that's okay. So once I got both drawers removed, I grabbed one of the side panels from the drawer and I'm gonna attach it because, yeah, popsicle sticks wasn't gonna hold this baby <laughs> together. I did put some in there just to keep it like together while I screwed these in, but I'm just screwing in screws to hold these two together. So as you can see, yeah, it's gonna stick out from the wall just a little bit. But again, that's part of the uniqueness because it doesn't all have to be matchy matchy the same. I did remove the popsicle sticks once I had it together. Then I just came in and gave it a little bit of sand so it grabbed the paint, painted this and distressed it. Not everybody loves distressed looks so you don't have to do that step. Paint it and move on. If you like distressed look, you can chunky distress it. You can just highlight edges. Like there's so many different ways you can distress a piece depending on your style and how you decorate your home. So I think I did like two or three coats of white paint on this. And like I said, came in and gave it a little distressing. Um, I did the outside edges and I did do a few chunky pieces in the center of this because um, I like that look. So like I said, this is to each their own. You don't have to do this step. When I was finished distressing this piece, I grabbed this clock I've had forever. I got it from Hobby Lobby. Um, I actually have had it in a dry, I haven't been using it. I had a clock wall 
at one point and then we bought a big piece of furniture that I couldn't have my clock wall anymore. So I thought, well, this would be neat to put on this piece and different and I'm gonna add a picture frame to it and I was so excited about this and I grabbed a finial and a bead and I am just gonna hot glue these down to the wood. The clock won't be hanging from this, it's just gonna be made to look like it's hanging from it because I will be using command strips to attach the clock to the wood. So I will be using hot glue to attach these two pieces together and then attach it to the wood then I'm just gonna go over it with some white paint so it matches the rest of the project. Like I said, clock isn't gonna be hanging from it, so I don't have to worry about having to use E6000 or super glue. And at the beginning I had stated, I wanted this piece to be easily changed. So the less super glue and E6000 I use, the less headache I had to do later if I wanted to change these pieces up or add to them or make them different. So. You see me add in hot glue and painting it white to match. Then I'm gonna come in with my clock. I'm gonna add some command strips to the back of it and I'm gonna attach it to the wood with the hanger around the finial so it looks like it's hanging from it. I love command strips, I do. Um, especially with me and how I change things up so much. Command strips were amazing, whoever invented them, because <laughs> I used to have a gazillion million holes in my wall, and my husband used to go crazy. <laughs> so to avoid him going crazy, yay for command strips. So I put two of them, and I just use regular ones here, but I also have the Velcro picture command strips that I use that hold so well. Oh my goodness. Um. So yeah, I'm not sponsored by command strips. Why am I going on and on about them? I just love them. So the clock is on the piece and now I grabbed another one of those picture frames that I got, but this one is blue. And I'm just kind of brainstorming how I want to do this. I knew I wanted the picture frame at the top of this. In hindsight, I kind of wish I would have put everything a little lower so the picture frame wasn't hanging off the top, but it's okay. Like I said, easily interchanged. I can go back and do something different. I'm not painting the picture frame. I'm leaving it as it is. I'm using command strips and I'm just attaching it to the top. And then you can put a picture on the clip, you know, a long picture instead of an up and down picture. And again, totally different totally unique i love this piece i love all the possibilities with this piece and yeah there it is oh my gosh if you love unique and different this is a video for you this is totally thinking outside the box to make a very very unique and different and all your style like you can just take my ideas and run with them and create your own ideas from this but this is just like an inspirational video don't throw away junk <laughs> keep it <laughs> you can turn it into something so there's that mirror from home interiors and don't look at the person in it <laughs> with no makeup in <laughs> pulled back hair um I just gave this a chunky coat of paint. That's all I did. I didn't, this is all, I didn't come back and fill in the gaps, anything. Um, then I went over it lightly with some sandpaper. That's all I wanted. I wanted some of the natural wood to come through. I wanted this to be a chunky piece. So I came in, I smoothed it out with that sandpaper, cleaned the mirror up real good. And then I am gonna take some of the um, Starbucks cold coffee bottles but you can also buy these at Dollar Tree. <clears throat> and I'm gonna put these on the mirror. I'm using E6000 and hot glue, and that's okay because glass isn't gonna stick to this mirror anyway. Basically, this is to hold it in place so I can get the ribbon around it. Then I come in with some burlap thick ribbon and secure this to the mirror. So I'm wrapping it around a couple times and then just securing it with hot glue. At the end, you'll see me add some more burlap ribbon to keep this in place. Now this has been hanging on my wall probably a month. I probably did this video a month ago um, and it has not fallen. The glasses have not come off. So this did work perfect. There is a little ridge, of course, where the frame is around this mirror and the glass kind of sits on that and the burlap's holding it in place. Now I won't put anything heavy in this, of course, but 
just some cute little spring flowers, just make this piece pop. Add some spring into your house. For Christmas, you can put red or green or white flowers in here, or Halloween, you can put black if you want and white. I mean, this piece can be interchanged, which is cool about that wall. I can take some of the pieces that are on the wall and add some holiday flair to them. So I always love that when I don't have to totally take down decorations when I want to decorate for the holidays. I can just tweak them. So again, I'm kind of securing it a little bit more with some more burlap ribbon. And this piece, oh my gosh, I absolutely love this piece. I love the mirror behind it. I love the spring flowers. I love the chunky distressing. This is probably a mirror that's been sitting around not being used for a long time. And I brought it out, brought it back to life, and it's one of my favorite pieces because I absolutely adore this it's cute little spring flowered mirror. Now I like to throw this stuff on the ground <laughs> on my floor and kind of get a feel for where I want it on the wall first. Then I start hanging it on the wall. I hung all of these pictures using Velcro command strips and yeah, I'm loving this wall. As you can see, there's gaps. You know, I didn't, I have, this is a work in progress because there's some more pictures I wanna get up on the wall, but I'm trying to find either another unique item to put them on or a picture frame that I absolutely love. So you see the gaps that are gonna be filled in and I'll throw a picture of it, maybe when it's done into another video so you can see, but yeah, just take stuff you've got already and create the most unique <laughs> and I think really fun and beautiful wall to display my family pictures. I love you guys so much. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for checking out this video. If you super duper like it, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you want to go one step further, share this on social media. And it really helps get my channel recognized, seen, and brings a lot more viewers to it to enjoy this as well. So thank you all so much. I hope you guys are having a blessed and most wonderful week. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Love you. Bye, y'all.